Welcome to Front Row Geeks. We like stats here. But it's football stats. Nobody cares about football. What if they play fantasy football? If you play fantasy football and you have Derek Carr on your uh, team, then you would like these stats. You know what? We really should do a fantasy football thing next year. Like, hmm? really should Oh, do I know. A, Seriously. Like, Come on. That's one of the nerdiest things about football is fantasy football. Mm-hmm. How do people, how do our group not do that? I, well, because by the time we got like full swing into fantasy football season that's when i was just barely getting you kind of committed to this whole thing you're recording yeah okay cool so like (laughs) we it's like we didn't really get it started like we weren't there yet like the crew we have today first off we could do a great league amongst us yes and second of all we could also have a great crew for actually doing the work involved of doing some something something with fantasy football. yeah yeah oh speaking of fantasy football i lost again I'm seven and two now. Oh, did you lose last week too? Um, I lost not last week. I think the week before. Okay. Yeah, no, last week I won. Uh, now, now I got to check this out. Are you number one in your league? Huh? Are you? One? I am tied for first. Oh, very nice. Very there's nice. three other players who are. Um, oh, there's two other players who are seven and two. I'm actually in second place because I have the second most points scored. Oh, okay. But I also Still, second have... place is going to get you to the playoffs for sure. So ah, yeah, exactly. Second so... place. Hopefully, <laughs> my injuries don't keep me from getting any. Uh, don't keep me from out of the playoffs. Or whatever. So, so before I introduce the podcast, have you hit that one week that you said that was going to be really good for you? Has that happened yet? Oh, that that I said was going to really be really bad for me. I think there was a really good week for you because like you, it was like a week where your opponent was the, one of the harder ones in the league. But they had buys, and you didn't, and it was going to be great. I thought that was... I thought oh, you said, I have no idea. I thought the last time we did record it here, that was part of it, but maybe uh, That not. might have been last week. I don't know. Okay. Um, well, anyway... All of my buys were this week. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> I had five starters on buy. Did you Did you lose really bad? I didn't lose really bad. I did lose, though. Okay. I lost 90 to 69. That is really bad. That's like not. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Okay. But for having five starters on by. Yeah. Good point. Also, for having two of my highest scoring players be injured as well uh, Matt Forte and Steve Smith. On top of it all. Jeez. Yeah. Well, Steve Smith is gone. Matt Forte is hopefully coming back. Well, anyway, welcome to Front Road Geeks Weekly. FRG Weekly, episode 14. I was going to say, it's, we're getting there. It's yeah, episode we got, 14. We're episode 14. 14 episodes of the, of the weekly podcast and seven, 18 episodes of the the flagship podcast, which now we're going to get some more episodes coming in because now I have a lot of interviews set up. So Ooh, keep, on, keep on. Interviews. Keep on with that. Uh, Amber, the cosplayer. All right, well, I don't know if she goes by Amber just like as a real name or as a cosplayer name, but, but on Sunday I'm going to be interviewing her. Cool. Did I tell you that at the Tucson Comic Con, I ran into a guy who worked on the Scott Pilgrim comic? No. He, he did some like a uh, like post on it. No. Yeah. He just randomly, he saw I me. Just kind of showed up, and then there was like a kind of a party, and then everybody left. Yeah. <laughs> we were tired. <laughs> I I understand. I know. I know. I'm still tired. <laughs> so no, no no, I was walking around in my Gideon outfit, as I, as I, I want to do. Nice. And he totally like, dude. Like, like, oh, someone who recognizes who I am. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Like, and then you realize, oh, it's the creator. <laughs> well, he's not a creator. Oh. He's like, he, he worked, he worked on, some, on it. Yeah, yeah. He did some post on it. Like, like okay. after the original, I guess, I don't know how our, our, that kind of thing works. Either which way. I will interview him on and find out for sure how that works. But he did some post work on it. Either like, way, how many people outside of that guy? <laughs> only one other person, like, stop me and go, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> Gideon. Though no, that's one of the things. Uh, okay. Well, we have a lot to talk about this week. I think. Cool. Cool. Well, I mean, if you want to learn about Tucson Comic Con, you're better off listening to the Tucson Comic Con other podcast. Yeah, the which Tucson when this this comes out on Wednesday. Okay. So, but the the Comic Con episode 
will come out on the weekend. I will probably release it on the weekend. Uh, that way I don't okay. put too many things out at once. Because there's a lot of editing that goes on with that one. Yeah. Apparently. Oh, that's what I was going to show you, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> you you podcast yes. won't, won't know, probably. Or you might not know. depends on how it goes. You'll know if you know, and if You'll you don't know, know, you won't know. <laughs> If you don't know, oh, now man. you know. Now you know. Yeah, well, the more you know. <laughs> so, let's talk about two things that have come out today that are going to change lives. Uh, that are Yes, absolutely. So, the first thing. Are, are Do you have Legacy of the Void yet? Are you going to get oh, that? Oh, that came out today? Yeah, you you brought it up last time. I know I brought it up last time, but uh, I don't remember what <laughs> Yes. I don't re- okay, well, yes. What do you think that I was is the one about? that I'm going to be getting, but I'm going to wait until Friday, until payday comes along, and then I can get it. Uh, same with maybe Fallout 4 if that's available, or Black Ops 3, although I'm a little iffy on Black Ops 3. Oh, and Battlefront. Oh, Star Wars? Yeah, Battlefront's coming out pretty oh. soon, if not next week. Oh, I know, seriously, there's just too many good games coming out. Uh, but I'm definitely picking up Battle. Uh, I mean, uh, Fallout. I have to. Yes, well, you do. I mean, seriously, Fallout's one of the best games ever. It really is. So, here, let me, I, I know we're going to talk Legacy of the Void, but it looks like you don't have it yet. So we'll I don't Fallout. have it yet. Not yet. Here, everyone, we're going to... Oh, yeah. Ah, Pepsi. Pepsi. So, wait, wait. wait this is, so, this is Pepsi, right? Yes. And, um... Why do you have Pepsi in your fridge, Eddie? Why? I don't know. Okay. Just, just wondering... Because everybody who's uh, who will remember, I think we talked about this in the last podcast, or not the last one, but the one before that, mm-hmm. about how much uh, you didn't like Pepsi. What did I say that? No, dude, you got it totally wrong. Or was it everybody if else? You, you obviously, did, yeah, it was everybody else. Okay. No, in fact, I'm a little ashamed that you don't know what my take on Pepsi is. Well, because, because they no, because they have Mountain Dew yes. under Pepsi, so you like Pepsi. So I like products. Pepsi because it supports Mountain Dew. Oh, okay. So of well. course I drink Pepsi. I mean, I drink Coke, too. I mean, it doesn't bother me. But, you know, when I have a choice, I go for Pepsi because, hey, they're the one bringing me my favorite drink. Mountain Dew. I gotta, you know, scratch the backs, uh, but not bite the hand that feeds, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But see, and that's why I like Dr. Pepper so much is because they're kind of alone. They use Coca-Cola to distribute their product, but they're not actually owned by Coca-Cola. I see them a lot of places where they sell RC products, actually. Exactly, and you see them in a lot of places where they sell a lot of Pepsi products because Dr. Pepper is its own thing. Rebel. Yeah, I know. They're the Rebel. That's why I like Dr. Pepper. Okay. Plus, it's the best tasting soda. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's not my thing. Unless you're Japanese. The Japanese hate Dr. Pepper. Really? Yeah. It's just the thing. <laughs> there's, there's literally videos online where they have... Japanese people t- uh, trying it, Dr. Pepper, and they're like, oh, is it, this is Is there nasty. too much going on there? Or I don't know. Like it's just they hate Dr. Pepper. Because I, as an individual, don't like Dr. Pepper, but I don't understand how a group cannot like Dr. Pepper. It's, it's, it, there's a few exceptions, but there's videos. You just look, type up Dr. Pepper, uh, uh, Dr. Pepper in Japan or whatever, people tasting Dr. Pepper. Someone has got to have done some sort of study on that. There has to be some sort of social construct that has that. Has that. Made that happen. Dr. Pepper is just filth. Maybe they don't mouth. trust doctors. No. Is that a cultural no. thing? No, no, because a lot of them say that it tastes like medicine. I kind of agree with that. But it doesn't seem to stop anybody else here in America. I know. We love Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is the best soda. <clears throat> <laughs> <clears throat> Mm. I know you like Mountain Dew, but mm-hmm. Dr. Pepper's the best soda. Anyway, so, okay, so Legacy of the Void is out for a while. <laughs> we'll we'll get back to that later. But the other important thing, the game that comes out today. Fallout. Is Fallout 4. Obviously. And I haven't said this on the podcast yet because it only came to re- on the revelation last night as I before I went to bed and I cried myself to sleep. <laughs> so I pre-ordered. Actually, let me, let's start the whole story again just in case I went to catch yes, the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, just so you can catch up. So when the E3 conference came up and Bethesda did their, their presentation and they had the Pip-Boy stuff come out, I was a late bloomer in getting the pre-order. I missed it the first few times it came out on anywhere else. And the story is that I woke up one day, had a revelation that I need to check the, check the webs, the webs <laughs> for, for a Pip-Boy edition. And sure enough, I found it on Amazon before it sold out sure again. Enough. 
Thank the maker. there, you lucky bastard? Thank the maker. <laughs> so, cut to the last night. Long day. Was taking an exams post Tucson Comic Con. Work, all everything in the way. I get an email, I get a text message mm-hmm. saying that your 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 order it has shipped. Cool. Okay, my order has shipped. Awesome. Go and go out through my day. Da 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 da. da. It wasn't until nine thirty last night when I'm in my MIS class, where, when thanks to my my experience with computers all my life, I can only I can still half pay attention and get work done in that class. Right. I look through my email for the first time all day, perusing my list, and says your your payment was not accepted. And I'm going, what? <laughs> what do you mean my payment wasn't accepted? I go through, I open up my Amazon, two things. One, the, sh- the thing that was shipped was in fact Fallout, but it was the one that I bought for my brother. <gasps> no. <laughs> okay. I didn't get, when this match just came up, it didn't come to me in text, so I figured that what was shipped was my own. I forgetting that I had my brother's edition too. Yes, yes. The one that I had bought was under a, a since expired card. <laughs> <laughs> that I have gone done away with, <laughs> that I forgot to replace. So the thing that Kelsey was talking about exactly last... the thing Kelsey was talking about last week is I, is I fell into face first. <laughs> and, <laughs> so and Ross's was, worst nightmare had, happened to me. You had the ability to change it last week, because but I had no he idea. Warned you about it last. But I, week. I thought I was prepared. <laughs> It didn't even occur to me. You were warned. Okay, so how did you fix it? Because you were telling me that that was an exciting story. Oh. <laughs> After being so, warned. You know. Ahead of time. Oh, Why? And I think I remember you saying, oh, I should check my purchase to make sure that it's correct. I think I said that sarcastically, <laughs> though. If I said it, it was only sarcastic, because I would have no, have never thought that I had made such a crucial error. <laughs> Okay, so so what did I do? Yeah. So I, I put the Facebook post last night. I kind of wallowed in despair for about an hour. I watched some more videos of the first hour of gameplay. And go, fuck, I can't wait two days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I bought it on Steam. <laughs> oh, God, Eddie. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you bought it on Steam. Okay, installed it. I've played ten minutes of it so far. That's all I had time for. So you got your name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What else did you do? I, I I didn't even exit the vault yet. Did you even fill out your special? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm hiding intelligence and luck. <clears throat> as as I am. As life. you're supposed to. Yeah. 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 So yeah. so yeah, so why did I do it? Because because I'm going to refund, get a refund as soon as my real one comes in. Oh my god! Because Steam Steam lets me give it back, no questions asked, as long as I I have within 14 days of purchase and with two hours, less than two hours of gameplay. You should gift it to somebody. But it's on PC. Oh, yeah. Don't think I didn't think about that. But no, <laughs> you you you're not gonna play it on PC unless you want it on PC. Which in that case, I don't know how to give it to you if I already own it digitally, I know, right? <laughs> unless I can give you the one that comes in, in on in the mail. But then it would be on PC, so. Oh. <laughs> Either way, and I don't know if I can return that for a for a different version. Yeah, I just want no, the Pip Boy. No, yeah. I want the Pip Boy. Yeah, exactly. So you got the Pip Boy edition for a PC then? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, either way, I wanted the Pip Boy. I have not I tried the Pip Boy app yet, by the way. That, well, no, obviously. Not enough, time, not enough time for that. But in fact, the last action I did well, was pick up the Pip Boy. It hasn't gotten here yet, has no, it? No, I have the Pip Well, there's the Pip Boy is not the app itself. The app is on the phone. You insert your phone into the Pip Boy. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Yeah, so I can, but I have the app now. The app. Oh, came, well, okay, okay. So the, the app, app came to there. existence like three days ago. Oh, okay, but they have the. Yeah, you know, okay, I see. So, so now I just need the Pip Boy itself to house with the app. <laughs> I know that's so cool, though. I wanted that. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes, but yeah. Oh man. So out of sheer desperateness, just having a Pip Boy all, all you know throughout the whole day, 
I could just see myself like at work with the pit boy on my arm. <laughs> Let me check this website for you. <laughs> I, I can do everything on my pit boy. <laughs> you know what? I had, I hadn't really thought about it, but I think for like the next the, the remainder of the oh, year, I might have, have to, to wear that you're everywhere. Have to wear that everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. There's there's no there's no reason why you shouldn't. I mean, it's it's a stunning stunning accessory. At school, you're gonna have to have the pet boy. <laughs> Raise my hand in class. <laughs> oh, 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 check out the pet boy. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Eddie, you never speak up in class. Oh, oh, yeah, because oh, <laughs> I know the answer. According to my pit boy, <laughs> yeah, see, look, <laughs> I pulled it up. I just googled it. <sighs> so yeah, that's been my experience so far. That's awesome. Well, so I don't know enough about the game. I like it. <sighs> okay. I mean, I'm biased. It's good. So I'm sure. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm sure. It looks I'm still gonna get used to Uh-oh. stuff though. I think Pulgoso just saw oh, me. Oh no, Pulgoso just saw you. Dang it. <laughs> well, don't. Now I'm hiding. Don't, don't make any sudden movements. Well, I'm hiding now. Hold on, I'm going to scoot over. He can't see me anymore. But he'll he'll be able to hear me. I'm going to have to turn down the gain on this so we don't hear Pugos. So, so we don't hear Pugos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, do you mm-hmm. want to let the uh, uninformed listeners know what Pugoso means, by the way? Oh, yeah. we, th- we th- Yeah. Well, We've anyone who speaks him. Spanish, who knows, but... Well, I know, but... Pugoso just means kind of like... It's like sl- short for like flea bag. For flea bag. Yeah, exactly. I mean it's not literally flea bag, but I mean bulgoso it's slang for flea. Bag. Bulgoso just means like full of fleas, like or flea full or something like that. Either if you way. want to be a literal translation, but either we way, we call them flea bag. Sl- yeah, exactly. It's slang. So for affectionately, flea bag. affectionately <laughs> call them flea bags. <laughs> like flea bag. I don't even think of flea bag anymore when I say bulgoso. We just it stuck, <laughs> and it might have been my fault actually. I think I was the one that made that stink stick. Nice. Speaking of things that are coming out mm. or have come out, um, so Pokemon, mm-hmm. uh, you can get a mystery Pokemon, or like you could get the mystery gift Pokemon. It's a Zorak this month. What? A Zorak. It's the Pokemon that transforms itself into the last Pokemon in your party. So I'm going to challenge Alex to a Pokemon battle today. I have no idea what that means. Why? Why, why is that a thing? It's just a what? Pokemon. It's, is it a new Pokemon? A mis- yeah, it's one of the newer ones. It was uh, from the last generation or two generations ago. I don't remember this Pokemon <clears throat> or why it would be useful or why I would want one. It's pretty awesome. It's a it's a wolf Pokemon. Okay, I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> you can tell me, tell the audience okay, how and anyway. where. Anyways, you get it. It's a gift. It starts off at level 50. Uh, it's for Omega Sapphire. Or, or Alpha, no, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, I have Omega Ruby, so I'm going to use that Pokemon to challenge Alex to a duel tonight. Um, and we'll see. Tonight? I thought he works tonight. Well, that's why we uh, he, he does, but later. Ah. But I'm still going to be heading over to his house after, after this. I see. I see. Oh, no. Yeah, I get or to hang you... out with my cousin. Jeez. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I have burped. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I never hang out with my cousins. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I have I think, a... What was it? The very first time that I came over to your house, you were hosting a... Was it your birthday party? And it was Do you just... mean like for very, very first time? We're talking about when I owned my own house. No, no, the very, very first time. That we met? Yeah. When know. you had, it was in high school, and it was like freshman year, and you invited everybody over for a birthday party, and we all came over, and there was like five of us, but then the your rest of your family was there. I don't even know who the five would have been. I mean, you and maybe David. I don't know how close it was David. David was there, yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Oh, no, I don't no. Who was the other guy we hung out with a lot? Blake? Is his name Blake? There was another guy we hung out with a lot, but he moved after the first year. I don't remember. Who did we hang out with? (laughs) Who did we hang out with? We suck. (laughs) Who did we hang out with for freshman year of high school? Well, I remember I hung out with David a bit. That was because we had the same math class. And I would call it less hanging out and more fighting for a seat. Yeah. That the teacher never called on. (laughs) you, you, You and David never got along in high school. It was me that made you guys get along. After many years of like, keys, 
Yes. What? <laughs> That's gross. Have right? you seen that meme? Yes, I've seen that. Okay, meme. Okay, good. I don't want to be like referencing something else that I've gotten horribly I, wrong. I, I still I. <laughs> <laughs> missing the joke. <laughs> That's so gross. That oh, is. God. Ugh. Okay, no, like, but... Like, uh, ew, disgusting. Um, 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 but, okay, who do we hang out with? <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember hanging out with you. I, and I, I know that's not I know, true. I know, because <laughs> I know that's not true, because I do remember other people being there, um, and I don't know who. Oh, I hung out with a lot of student council people, so that makes sense. But who okay, did but we... I don't remember... Who did we hang out with? There was somebody else. There was like, another guy... I can't remember what his name was. It was because he was black. Definitely, you don't remember him. What? No. Because <laughs> he was black. What? No. I thought he was. No, he had to be. Yes, he was. Wait, what? We had a black... Besides my cousin, we had another black friend. Wait. Um. Oh, we hung off Alicia a lot, too, I think, that year. But... Who? It, Alicia? You don't remember Alicia, either? No, I don't... Okay. No, the, I really it don't. It sounds like we can't have this conversation, really, because you don't remember we, anyone from freshman year. I really don't remember anybody from freshman year. It, it was freshman year. It was so long ago. It was... 14 years ago. 14 years ago. That's ridiculous. Do you remember anybody from 14 years ago? I just told Actually, you, like... you do. <laughs> I just told you a bunch of their names. I know. <laughs> See, if I saw faces, I'd be able to put the faces to the names, but I Alicia just can't Miller Miller's one of the people I hung out with. Uh, Jessica Campbell hadn't gotten there yet, I think. But I knew her from middle school. Um, but I don't think she'd came to us at that point. I, don't I, I knew Megan Capers, but I don't think she also didn't come to freshman year. I remember year yet. Megan Capers. But she wasn't there our freshman and year. Dustin. Yet. Dustin no. wasn't there yet either. There's a lot of people our freshman year who didn't stick around for some reason. No, there was. Except from David. Actually, a majority... I don't think... Was Trisha there the whole time? No. Um, I think most of our graduating class wasn't there the whole time, except for Joey. Sorry, Joey. Joey! That's right, I remember Joey. He was there. We didn't hang out with him, though. But we much. never really... <laughs> exactly. no, but he we was never there. really hung out with him. He was there. Um... Like how this turns into like yeah no we're just like who's see, who? No, see, we need to save this conversation for when Gina comes on the podcast. Oh, I know. I don't know if Gina will remember. Well, anything. she won't remember the first couple of years, but she might help us fill in some blanks. Well, she wasn't there freshman year. I don't think. No, no, she yeah, didn't get exactly. there until at least junior year, maybe sophomore year, but I'm pretty sure it was junior year. We'll have to. Yeah, exactly. And so did Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel's another one that got there like uh, like junior yearish. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. see, I remember. I remember. I don't. I'm sorry. So. I remember you. I remember David. Well, of course you remember me. Who could I forget me? I remember Charissa. Um, Zach. I remember Zach. But he was, and I Joey. Don't, I, don't, I don't remember if he was there from the beginning either. He might have been. I don't know. I think I he might have been. So. I don't remember. It doesn't ring a bell with him being there from the very beginning. I'm telling you, a lot of people didn't, didn't stick around. I remember some of the teachers, too. Mm-hmm. Actually, I remember a lot of the teachers. Well, that one's a little easier. Yeah, I mean, you have to remember them. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of focus on, on teachers back then. <laughs> anyway, um, so another thing that happened this weekend that I only min- minimally, minima, minimally, 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 minimally participated in uh-huh. was Dia de los Muertos. Oh. Did yes. You, did you see any of that yourself? No. So, the only time I really got to see any of it was when I drove downtown to get food. And the whole time, <laughs> there, was, there was like, I, I knew it was happening that weekend. Yeah, I had yeah. seen other people participating, even from the con. Yeah. But as I was driving down to go get some food for us for the, our after party for the Comic-Con. I think we, were, we Dave and I drove by like three people with the, with the masks and the suits. Yeah. And my immediate reaction was, oh, that guy's this dress cosplaying as Rorschach Ruk- from Watchmen. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Rorschach. That's cool. Rorschach. Yeah, see, I don't even know the character. <laughs> Rorschach. Yeah. And it wasn't until like... Rickshaw? I'm not, I don't know. You know what a rickshaw is, Eddie? No. A rickshaw is the thing that the Chinese people use, the little cart that, they be, that oh. the guys carry around. That's a rickshaw. I don't know. The words. <laughs> things. Anyway, Rorkshaw. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm glad you're tickled. Again, Rorschach. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know Rorschach. Anyway. Rorschach. 
Anyway. I mean, if I watch the movie, it'll be, it'll be better. You saw the guy dressed up as Rorschach. <laughs> I thought he was, but I'm pretty sure now he was just he was dressed still... as, like, like fancy skull, <laughs> skull face. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Dia de los Muertos, mm-hmm. did we talk about Spectre yet? We haven't. I was going to save that one oh. for later in this okay. episode. But okay. Yes. Okay. Well, we could bring it up now because now, cause it Muertos. transitions. Because, it does transition. Because, spoiler alert, the very beginning scene in Spectre is actually set in Mexico City during Day of the Dead. Yes, exactly. Like. It's like they knew ahead of a time when this movie was going to be released oh, or something. Oh, I know, right? Like, That's such, so weird. Such such wisdom, such such <laughs> prophecy. I think the Rogers open. I need to close that down. Ah, yes. Keep talking. Oh, but anyway, we went and saw Spectre. Oh, no, I closed it. It's smart. Yeah, so what did you think of Spectre overall? It was okay. I... It was okay. Okay. It was good. Okay. It was what I wanted in a James Bond movie. Yep. It, it wasn't Skyfall. I love Skyfall. Skyfall. Skyfall hit all the right notes for me. And this one didn't do quite that well, but it was good. I actually agree completely. Skyfall, I think, was a better film than Spectre. Yeah. Because as much as I love Christopher Watts, Waltz, 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 Christopher Waltz, whatever. <laughs> He is such a good actor, and when he was doing that, when they were doing the spoilers torture scene, mm-hmm. you know, like oh god, you mean was, Daniel Craig gets tortured in a James Bond movie? Uh, yeah, well, that's true. Okay. <laughs> well, he was legit creepy in that scene. Like he was legit terrifyingly creepy. Like he usually is in most yeah, of his yeah. movies. When he, he knows does how to little, go to he knows, go to ten with the maniac. He's got that creepy smile about him where he just sits there and he's like, yeah. And then, see, now that was great and all. However, there was far too little time of Christopher Waltz. He wasn't on the screen as much as one would hope him to be if he's going to be the main villain. So, obviously, you know by now what character he he is, right? Well, yeah, obviously, but yeah. I, I And we talked about this before watching the movie. That character that he plays as, I had never seen in another movie before. Oh, yeah. So I've never seen that character appear in a James Bond film and watch the film. I Before Pierce Brosnan, I really haven't seen anything. Well, yeah, it was more of a throwback to the old classic yeah. James Bond. Which is what they've been Sean doing the whole time with and... Daniel Craig's character anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. a prequel which to James Bond. Yeah. Which has was, was, been really great. I, I think what, the thing that was kind of meh for about, about his character... And it's not his fault. He did. He played his part well. It's the writing. I, I, well, I think it was unnecessary to tie him directly to James Bond. Uh, you know, yes. Actually, you're right. It was a little unnecessarily convoluted that we had to make him another person from James Bond's past. Exactly. So they fall into the, uh, the Spider-Man effect where they had too many villains... Sort of. I mean, this only had two villains. I mean, if you even count Batista as a villain. I I mean, he was great. He was great. He did a good job. See, he stole the show, I think. Yeah. It's worth watching because of Batista. But, like, in Skyfall, Javier Bardem was a clear-cut villain. Menacing from the moment you met him to the end. get-go. I mean, he was a clear-cut villain. Villain, mm-hmm. and he was awesome for it. And his performance yes. and the way his villain was written, it was just you can't, t- you couldn't top that almost. Um, and I feel that Skyfall could have topped. I'm um, not Skyfall. Uh, Spectre. Spectre could have topped that, but they didn't. They didn't. Yeah. I, I first, I think when we first met his character, it was way too convoluted. Yeah, in that yeah, in that, exactly. in that Rome scene, exactly. we didn't get enough of the terror. Why we should give a rat's about this guy? Yeah, we got more of that off off of Bautista's character. Yes, um, I, I just I, I think it was poor build up. I think that's what it was. Yeah, it was poorly exactly. built up. Exactly, because he shouldn't have been in that room to begin with. He should have been on a video screen or something. Or something. I don't know. He, you know that would have been more menacing. Maybe. Maybe. Something a little more. And then it leads to the confrontation where eventually Bond finally meets his foe face to face and they do, you know, whatever they do. Yeah, the whole, I think the whole thing was just a little too convoluted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, everything else, I like, aside great. from convoluted oh, plot, the action, action sequence is great. Yeah, you. I mean, even, even James Bond's sex scenes weren't too, like, like meh, weird. Like, yeah. 
They were. They were. They weren't out of. Well, okay, they were really out of place. A little. Well, I mean, <laughs> they weren't out of place for a James Bond movie. Okay, yes. <laughs> they were where they needed to be in a James Bond movie. Like, I just saved your life. I just met you and you saved me. And uh, let's let's go into the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> At least the second girl held off a little longer. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but hers was the most. Did you, did you know the first weird. actress, the, the 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 one the the widow? She, she's she's fifty. Really? Yeah. No, there was a lot of there was some press about how she an older woman was a Bond girl. Wow. I she mean, was damn fine. Yeah, for fifty. Yeah, yeah. Just don't that, get me wrong. She's, yeah, certainly. Yeah, I knew it, she was older. You can and, I, you could tell, but. I don't know, 50. And, uh, and to Daniel Craig's credit, which I've been kind of bashing him a Daniel little bit Craig lately. Daniel Craig is older. In the interviews, he very, he very, very much defended her in, in that regard. Because yeah. there are people asking sexist questions like, so how does it, that, what do you think of Bond, Bond being a full, much older woman than he usually is with? And she's like, I'm, she's only like a few years older than me. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> she's like four years older than me. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's just the thing. It's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So people are like, oh, well. <laughs> that being people... said, I mean, he went, right, he went right back to someone who's probably like 30 years younger than him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Only the daughter of the guy who he, he killed who was an evil person. He didn't kill him. A... He helped. It was assisted suicide. <laughs> he didn't kill him, though. No. It was... I mean, it was... Yeah, yeah that is a yeah. gun. But... <laughs> Oh, spoiler. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that yeah, we got to cut it out. Yeah, you just got to yeah. buzz it. Yeah, well, sorry, guys. Just, just boop. Well, they won't know until it happens. Yeah, whatever. That's yeah, fine. And it's been out a while. Who cares? <laughs> it's been out like three days. <laughs> yeah, that's long enough. Uh, it's been out a weekend. You anyway, to... so yeah, if you haven't seen Spectre, I would totally watch it. I mean, there's, oh, yeah, no, there's, good. there's no reason not to watch it. Watch it for Dave Bautista because, holy, he is awesome in that. <laughs> He's really grown out he, of the WWE. He is really, well, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> if you had lines, I don't know. He had one. That went exactly. Exactly. That's the point. That's why presence. he was really good. Exactly. He, he had the best presence. In that movie, he mm-hmm. had the best presence of a Bond. Besides, villain. there's plenty of Bond or, villains that don't say shit. He, he had the best <laughs> presence of Bond muscle since Odd Job. I was gonna say Jaws. You don't think so? You know, Jaws is a better comparison. It, those movies were a little too corny, and don't get me wrong. I mean, my grandpa personally what's, what's knew not, the actor. Who what's not Jaws. corny about guy who throws hats? <laughs> <laughs> like, like I know, cut the heads I know off of statues. I know a tall beast of a man, but with metal teeth is called he, Jocelyn on the nose. And he but... also pulled a man's heart out of his chest. I didn't see that part. Was that odd job, or was that a rip off of odd job? It might have been a rip off odd job. I'm thinking Austin awesome awesome Powers. powers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Son of a bitch. But that got through shoes, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, something. Ow, ow! Yeah, I remember. He's like, yeah. why are you throwing shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Austin Powers. Uh, okay, but yes, no, watch Spectre. Yeah, if, if you liked any Spectre. James movie before, watch Spectre. You're gonna, you're gonna be okay with it. Like, it's not. It was not. not and then, if you, if you didn't want, if you haven't watched any James Bond movie before, watch Skyfall. Well, watch. I you, think, no, 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 no. They need to watch Casino Royale first if they've ever seen one. Uh, it needs to happen first. It's true. Then watch the But not really. I mean, so? everybody knows it's giant James Bond and a villain, and there you go. Yeah, but go. Ja- that's, that's I thought spot. Casino Royale did a good job of like like easing you in into this character. It's true, it's true. But Skyfall is a perfect standalone James Bond film. It's the one where you can watch it, and you don't have to watch any other James Bond movies. Mm, I think sort of. I think you you, you not watching Casino Royale, you lose a lot of the. Of the history yeah, behind true. M and, and Bond, and how reckless Bond is, and what motivates him. Up to but that I don't point. think you need any of that. But it helps to him now. Enjoy you the don't movie. need it. Well, I think you need the Bond M relationship for sure. Yeah, that 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 makes a lot of sense, especially for Skyfall. You don't sure. really need the backstory of how like he's <laughs> the same organizations have been kicking his ass for four movies. But <laughs> but you know, but yeah, oh, watch man. that movie. Yeah. It was really seriously good. watch that movie. It was a good movie. Yeah, that was a fun birthday. Yes. Also, it was your birthday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was such a good birthday. 
like I said before, that that was a, that was the, the first time in four years I've seen a movie on my birthday. The last time being the movie In Time with Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I've never watched that movie, but Justin way, Timberlake is cool. It's I, I love that movie, actually. It's a great yeah. movie. The only problem with the movie is that that premise of that movie, by, given the fact that I was 25 when that movie came out, the premise of that movie was when you turn 25, you have a year left to live unless you make enough time money to stay alive long. Oh, I... Yeah. I, That's now, the premise of the movie. Now I remember so that So it's like, movie. guys, I'm 25. Why are you bringing me to this movie? <laughs> You're just telling me I have a year left to live. Unless I work for it. Or something. What's the moral here? <laughs> so yeah, there was that. There was that delightful tie-in. Yeah, yeah. Justin Timberlake is pretty awesome, though. He is. He hasn't really done a movie since then, though, has he? He's, I don't think so. I thought that was an open enough for him because he was. It was a pretty okay movie. I. It was a pretty good in sci-fi movie. He's made his money. I don't know if he. Yeah, he's cares. probably not trying too hard. I mean, he's yeah. going to be rich the rest of his life. Exactly. He's got Jessica Alba. Yeah. He's doing okay. Yeah. Not Jessica Alba, Jessica Beale. Sorry. Not Jessica Beale. Jessica Is it Jessica Beale? <sighs> I don't I know who I is, but I can't remember the last name. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a Jessica. And it's not Simpson. So Jessica Beale's like a character from a from a TV show. Oh, it's Jessica Beale. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, you were right. Yeah. So many Jessicas. Jeez. There are. And yeah, we just, personally know a lot of Jessicas too, mm-hmm, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of high school again. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> going, going <laughs> back around <laughs> to the beginning. Mm. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> LOL. So Skyfall was good. What else do we got to talk about? Mm. What else happened in the mm. week aside from Comic Con? Because we already got the Comic Con. Comic Con was just so 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 oh. overwhelming. <laughs> so overwhelming. I haven't had a break yet. <laughs> Tomorrow I have like kind of a break. Tomorrow's Veterans Day. Oh uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna go have lunch with my dad. Ooh, I get time and a half tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Because Veterans Day. Yeah. Because boom, boom, Veterans Day. And you know, and well, veterans. and obviously the veterans. <laughs> I didn't uh, mean to say that. So are we running tomorrow? Or is tomorrow not your running day? Um, we're running tomorrow. We are. Yes, okay. we're gonna run tomorrow. Damn it! Uh, I mean, cool. yeah, yeah. All right, Eddie. Awesome. We missed out. I mean, we didn't do it this morning. Should have. Damn shit, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I right. couldn't do it today. I had to work oh, yesterday. Like I, yesterday, I had this. Uh, well, Justin's been cleaning up the backyard, so we had this huge pile of just everything that was pokey in the backyard, just sitting outside. So we had, we have a dumpster out in front of the house. So we had I had to move it into the dumpster. That was a pain in the ass. Oh, I should also mention that I'm that I'm. Again, this week, I'm going to make the second attempt to watch the, the Fun Comfortable Tour, Chris Hardwick's comedy tour. Oh, yeah. It's going to be in Phoenix this weekend. This is where it was supposed to The second to. attempt? Yeah. <laughs> well, because they postponed it because he had, cause he had something to shoot that weekend that oh, originally okay, came out. Oh, okay, So, I will be reporting on that next FRG Weekly to see how that went. I've been watching Death Note recently. Oh. I've been re-watching it. I watched it before. Okay, I was really about to say, it's like, it. like that, that's a classic. I know. It's still really good. It still holds up as being really good. But then I kind of lost it because I over, I forgot about the scene where he was like, where he's like, and then I'm gonna eat a chip, and he grabs this chip out of his bag and he eats it all dramatically, and there's like dramatic music playing. But it was like <laughs> taken out of context. Who eats it's the pretty chip? Ridiculous. Light. Oh. That doesn't <laughs> like, sound like light. No, it's been too long. <laughs> yeah. I think there has to be a YouTube clip on it, and we'll have to watch later. But man, it's like it, it's so great because it's so dramatic, and if you take it out of context, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so I kind of lost it that, at that scene. I was like cracking up while I was watching it. A pretty good show. I mean, really good show. It's just yeah, give Death Note a watch. Yes, definitely. It's uh, I'm you know, in I don't know what to say about it that says it in the makes it a great series which was kind of fun to watch i yeah, think it's this it's, it's kind of fun in the way that you're kind of cheering for the bad guy yeah yes and no the light is totally the bad of, guy yeah, i know you're totally is. cheering for him the entire thing not my second really time around. i was well the second time around is different but the, because, time the first time well, okay, around the first time around you're still like oh man well he do it's kind of like dexter you mm-hmm. know um, where you just sit there, it's like, will he get caught? Will he go? I mean, will he like continue on? Yeah, how far is this going to go? 
Um, yeah, no, the second time around, you're just like, you realize, man, Light's a dick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you already know what's going to happen, so you're just like, oh, well. Oh, I just saw this on my Facebook feed. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf is apparently inviting fans to watch uh, his movies with him in New York City. Well, great. Let's go to New York City. Let's do it. Let's uh, That's not get local. I'm sorry, everybody. We promised it would be local, no news and stuff. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> I like how we're doing a podcast and that he's looking at Facebook. You know what? That's what they're doing right now. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Jerks. <laughs> Well, I feel like there was something else that I wanted to talk about. I can't remember. And that's okay because we only have five minutes for record t- recording time left. Talked about podcasts. Oh, well, we're, we're supposed to talk about Legacy of the Void, but I don't have it yet. So that's going to be until next week. I just barely started seeing either way, ads for it. Oh, man. That means I have to finish Heart of the Swarm. I really haven't finished Heart of the Swarm yet. <laughs> I really need to do that. I'm not going to judge you on not completing video games. Ask, ask Goth- Arkham City how, how far along I'm in, in that game. Okay. Ask any video game aside from Bioshock. I haven't even played that. Bioshock. Oh, well, the whole Bioshock series. And then oh. the um, Borderlands series. And then... Yeah, ask me how many games I've completed outside of those. I have another question for you instead. Oh, and the Ace Combat series. When are you going to post to our Facebook page those Mario Maker levels? Oh, oh, snap. I forgot about those. Yes. Yes, I will do that as soon do as I get it. home tonight. Yes, because there are multiple levels that we have to... Well, see, now there's a bunch of new levels that we have, too. Well, there you go. Um, get, get the band back together, bro. Ridiculously cool levels. Bro. Uh, are you, do you have Mario Maker yet, no. either? Oh. And I can't. You still got to play Test Star. So tomorrow, after the run, do you want to play Test some levels? Probably. It really depends, because... <laughs> because I have to f- figure out when I'm going to go have lunch with my daddy. My dad's a veteran, well, by the, the way. Well, that's lunch, though. Yeah, but I have to work at 1. Yeah. So I have to have lunch before then. Yeah. Which means that my morning is short. Yeah, we'll be done running at, what, 8? I don't know. Yeah, and all you're doing is playtesting through one of our levels, and then you're going to play some other levels. Because So much not? stuff. Hey, relax. Enjoy the run. Enjoy relaxing ah, and playing. Oh. I thought we stopped recording, but actually opened up the audacity for <laughs> the one we recorded on. <laughs> I opened up the audacity file for the. Oh for my the, goodness! For the <laughs> oh my goodness, Eddie, don't for the other recording. Record over that. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. <laughs> You've okay, we got three it. minutes left, so let's let's wrap it up. Ah, uh, yeah, let's wrap so, it up. All right. So, what are we so, going to plug? So the schedule again. Uh, for sure, right now, we restream three times a week. Possibility of getting some other ones in the near future. Yep. yep. Wednesdays, we have Raptor Wednesday, so join Raptor. He usually plays... He's been playing a lot of Mad Max and Black Ops. And I imagine with Black Ops 3 coming out, Ooh. that's going to be all over his feed here pretty soon. So Ooh. watch him on YouTube or Twitch. Damn it. I want to play Black Ops I think, 3. I think he was saying problems with one or the other the other day, so I haven't, I'm not sure if he's figured is that he out yet. Is he going through campaigns in Black Ops, or is he playing multiplayer Black Ops? I have Ops? no idea. Oh. I saw... I think it was... I, when I saw him, he was playing multiplayer, but I don't know if that was his total <laughs> intent. Oh, so man. keep an eye for that. I haven't played Call of Duty in a long time. I need to get back into it. Friday we do Frantic Fridays with Astro Omega, and he's he's still doing his uh, back and forth between Legaya and uh, Final Fantasy VI. So keep an eye for that. Ooh. And then we have Michael doing M- two very good games. And we have Michael doing MMO Saturdays, and he he does that on and off twice. Twice what games day. are he going? Is he going through? He's he mostly doing Final Fantasy, but I think he he dabbles into other RPG MMOs as well. But, oh, okay, okay. Uh, he usually does the Final Fantasy uh, Realm Reborn. No, wait, I'm getting that wrong. Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, I thought that was a subtitle a Realm Reborn, but I, mean, I'm, I don't know. Wrong. Whatever. Anyway, everybody knows Final Fantasy 14. 14. Yes, because that's the online Final Fantasy. Well, there was there was 12. I mean, 11 as well. <laughs> All right, anything else you need to plug? Uh, besides that, you can always catch us. Uh, we, we release FRG Weekly every Wednesday, so uh, if it's right, not right, Wednesday, right. there's a problem. Yep, on podcasts. There's also our YouTube channel. Check that out as well now. Yeah. We, we've right. been posting uh, video, quote-unquote video versions of our podcasts, some behind-the-scenes stuff. A lot of And, and stuff. soon we'll, we will have original content. We're just f- f- working out the kinks on you know, waiting, yes. We're post-production. Yep, exactly. Post-productions turn out to be harder than we thought. got some scripts. Mm-hmm. But we're we're produ- uh, we're waiting on production. So and then occasionally with the podcast, <laughs> I should we, just say in general production. <laughs> yeah, 
we're producing. Yeah, we're we're kind of working on it. So, and hopefully we're, we're going to be kind of partnering up with some new groups that we met at Tucson Comic Con. So yes, so, Ooh, partnerships. So we'll you'll probably see some new products coming soon and some invites to some other channels for you to check out. Sweet. But with that, I think we're pretty much good to go. Have yes. fun. Say goodbye to, goodbye to the people. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit us up on Facebook, Front Row Geeks, <laughs> Twitter and Instagram, <laughs> FRG underscore media. And yes. And watch us there. Um, what, what, our Instagram account as well? The, FRG underscore media. Yeah. Pogo oh, stop barking. It is, uh, yeah, I know. Pogo so stop barking. And the uh, clock is going off. The alarm. The, the, the alarm. Grandfather clock. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a presentation of Front Row Geeks. Adios.